But moving on, big weekend of NFL football. Humongous. And where the ozone was right, as we said, uh, was there's still no answer for the 6'3", 250-pound, 4'3", slash 4'4". You running. take a couple inches off of him? I think he's six, four, six, five. He looks like he's 6'9 out <laughs> right. there. He looks bigger than everybody except for the offensive lineman. Exactly. He looks like a man-child. He and, really does. And he stuffed it down their throat just like he can stuff it down anybody's throat. Wow. 30, and Ryan Tannehill. And he got his 30 eight, touches. Big, 30 to 35. He was <laughs> <laughs> in Tennessee. You didn't know? <laughs> oh, well, no. Oh, you know. <laughs> Let me find out. <laughs> Asheville, listen to the whole song. You all right, Omar. You all right. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's from the Lost Files. Uh, yeah, so that game went as expected. I really think it's unfortunate because Lamar Jackson, they're trying to give Lamar Jackson this choker thing as if, He's been playing for 15 years. Well, even this is his second playoff game. Lamar Jackson does not play defense. <laughs> he did not get ran all over. Yeah. Lamar didn't get ran. Lamar messed up. I, I could see that the you know the the sophomore jinx is this considered a sophomore right now because yep. he was in. The, yep. But you can see where it set in. But he was playing from behind. Their team is not built to play from behind. No. They have a problem because when this guy. That's what we said. And no matter who it is or what team they play against, even if it's Patrick Mahomes, if the guy. Touches the ball because the first time that he played against him, he had uh, Kansas City he had 188, I do believe, 188 yards on 20 carries. So you have to amplify that if he has 10 carries. Again, 10 more carries. Yeah, 10 more carries, and they're not good at stopping the run again. Right, they're looking 250 yards. Patrick Mahomes and them might be in trouble. I mean, he, they, you can literally – now, it's not what the NFL wants because they don't want to see – Patrick Mahomes, I mean, uh, the Tennessee Titans versus the Kent, um, versus the 49ers. You would like to see, you know, Aaron Rodgers and Patrick Mahomes, a, sort of a pass the torch situation. So I would look to see some some questionable, questionable calls. calls out there in the NFL. Whoa, breaking news. The Red Sox and Alex Cora have agreed to mutually part ways. Right on those. Oh, you heard it here, child. Wow. They said that, but, you know, they were saying that that probably was going to happen. This guy just managed one of the greatest teams you'll ever see in that 2018 Red Sox squad. Yeah. And he had those boys rocking and rolling. And, and, and I don't agree with him still in signs when he was on the Red Sox, though, either, because they went to an extra inning game with the Dodgers that was crazy. That the Dodgers should have won. <laughs> that the Dodgers should have won. That well, well this is, but, but again, this has nothing to do with uh, anybody in on the road. This right. is all at home. And then even with the Dodgers again, once again, they don't play baseball the right way. Okay, so now we take the cameras away. The Dodgers still won't win. Well, you can say that, but it, I, I can say that because you, it's true. You no, you can say that because it's your opinion, and and in but, my opinion has been pretty valid for the most part. And you can keep cutting me off if you'd like to, but the point of the matter is, the team that you support right. cheats, and they have cheated, and it's been proven that they cheated. And you're well, the obviously only they didn't do it well because just, they only have one chance, just, just like one child, child. Did, did, <laughs> did you? It doesn't seem to bother you. Uh, and and I don't know why it doesn't bother you because if you were playing, I can guarantee that you would have a major problem with this. No, I wouldn't. But yeah, okay. But uh, either way it goes, it's it's very very interesting that it's not a problem for you. I, I don't know why, but I, it, but either way it goes, I because Alex everybody is out. A bunch of hypocrites. That's that's my biggest problem. Well, and uh, you, to support that, I will say this: nobody should be cheering or jumping for joy because. You only know what is proven at this point. Exactly. And so nobody knows what other teams are doing what. But I would because be we know that very surprised if those anybody else gets caught doing this at home at this point. Yeah, if they get caught now, but and from I'm this not, point. But yeah, from this point. But Aaron Judge took a you know, took down his his uh you know, he said something nice about Jose Altuve. He took it down about the you know, their playoff run and everything else. Come on. Well, it, honestly, I feel like the Yankees have more reason to be salty than the, than the than, Dodgers, than the Dodgers because too. the Yankees gave them a series that that series. Not that the Dodgers didn't; they both went seven. But but you could see how, especially because the Yankees were more vulnerable pitching wise, right? You could see how that could be a big factor mm -hmm. because the Yankees gonna bang the baseball. It doesn't matter where they play. The Yankees, you know, once again, 
I, I'm, let's move on. Let's move on. I mean, I, I don't. I don't think that the ozone listeners are gonna gonna be with you on this one. We'll be. It'll be They're never with me. It's okay. No, that's not true. You have so you have two or three fans. <laughs> Sometimes we'll ride with me two or three. I have space in my minivan. Sometimes our mother likes what you say. Sometimes, <laughs> uh, but but back to football. Yeah, um, the Titans just rolled on, and and I felt like I took the Ravens. If you remember, um, I had a sneaking suspicion <laughs> that, that Derrick Henry was going to run all over the place. <laughs> but I was disappointed in uh, Coach Harbaugh to a certain degree because, like we said, I actually feel like neither one of those teams are built to play from behind. And I think that whoever jumped out early is going to win that game. And in general, if you jump out early on the Tennessee Titans, it's going to negate Derrick Henry's ability, not his personal ability, but the ability to continue to pound with him and run the clock if you're down 10 or 14. But you have to get a big lead on them in order to get him out. And I don't think that they'll be able to do it because with each possession – that they get, they're going to run the ball at least three to four times. Well, and what well, this is what I'm saying. When it came to the Ravens, <laughs> the issue that I have with everybody acting like Lamar Jackson somehow or another was, you know, uh, irrelevant. The thing that I saw from Lamar was something that is in a stark contrast to what I saw with Pat Mahomes was guys dropped a lot of passes for Lamar Jackson as well. Good passes that he put on the money that guys dropped. But earlier in the game, he threw a pass that was a terrible pass that they ended up hurting the team more so than it hurt him more than it hurt anybody because this was their first possession after they stopped Derrick Henry and them. He, they marched the ball down there, and then he threw an interception. to Big, turn. big pick. Yeah, the big pick, and that's on him. And that, that was on him. And, and the biggest thing is that what I wanted to talk about as well is that when you talk about Russell Wilson and Patrick Mahomes, one of the things that Lamar Jackson doesn't do that they do well is – he has he throws sidearm and stuff like that, but they throw sidearm on the move like baseball players, like like shorts. middle infielders. Yeah, like middle infielders. He doesn't really do that. If, if you watch yeah, it, but that's not. I don't. I don't but, hold but that against but, him. But not, no, you can't hold. He's it. not a baseball player. Yeah, but but it turns out to be big though in situations like with the Kansas City Chiefs where they can come back and Russell Wilson when they can make up plays as they go because they can actually throw the football as if they're a middle. They infielder. can find the angles. Yeah, they find the angles, and that's big because when they Lamar Jackson, uh, when Lamar Jackson is doing it, he has to stop and pop. In a, in a sense, you know what well, I'm saying? I think another and that hurt him, and he gets under the ball, so he overthrew that pass. It got tipped up in the air and then turned into a pick. Another big thing was was the way – you have to give a lot of coach uh, – uh, a lot of credit to Coach Vrabel. A lot of what they did was like keeping feet. him under control in the pocket. Yeah. they That that spy situation seemed like a major – it wasn't, you know – This is a Belichick, you know, thing. Yeah, it's a, it was Belichick 101. Belichick – no, it's a, actually Bill Parcells 101 that yes. turns into a Belichick yeah. 101. You know what I'm saying? Because – that's not a, it's not rocket science on how to contain a quarterback that likes to take off. You have a spy on that quarterback, and they kept him contained for the most part. You're not going to be able to completely stop him, but for the most part, you can keep him under control, and that's what you need to do because – if Derrick Henry is running the ball, he's pounding the ball, he's going to take five minutes, ten minutes out of each possession. Yeah. You know, but with Lamar Jackson running the ball, I think the, the longest run he had was about 30-something yards. But then after that, there were four, three. He got sacked a couple of times. Ingram got hurt again. Yeah, then Ingram got hurt again. And then now you're talking about, you know, now it's more of a ball And he was control. getting hit hard. And one of the things that they, they're not speaking about is that the Tennessee Titans kicker is one of the best you know that's special teams. He 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 plays, pins you. Yeah, he pins you down. Yeah, he and it turns it and turns into a game of time of possession and field position. And most of the teams don't recognize that. It seems. Uh, yeah, well, they definitely weren't able to overcome that out in Baltimore. But uh, to go on to the next game, which was one of the wildest football games that I've ever seen in my life. Wow, <laughs> was that Houston Texans Kansas City Chiefs game? I picked the Chiefs. You guys who listen know I picked the Chiefs to go to the Super Bowl. I actually think the Chiefs can win the Super Bowl this year. And when it was 24 to nothing, I was saying to myself, wow, this is amazing. I didn't think I had it this wrong. I know I'm not a, a football guy per se. Right. But it was very, I wasn't worried. Well, it was very interesting to watch because one thing that I will say about that I have a problem with, with the running quarterback, running quarterbacks now take – too much liberty and too much time with the fact that they can extend plays. Right. And they sit back there, they smoke a pack of <laughs> back and mouths, you know, and everything. Put on oh, their they, jacket. They put on their smoking jacket. That's it. They chill. Who do I have down the field right oh, now? Oh, look at that. It's, uh, <laughs> it's Mark Andrews. He's open. Oh, he's not open anymore. I'll just dance a little bit more. 
And it, and it's an interesting thing because what we saw was great. One, I saw Deshaun Watson. Somebody tried to tell me how Deshaun Watson lost focus and wasn't game after he got the 24-0 lead. I couldn't disagree more. When they started to come back, Deshaun Watson looked like he was playing in the backyard. He looked so happy. Yeah. He, you could see he loves the competition. But I saw the defense get demoralized. That's what I saw that was, more, that than more so than anything. They got the and mental lapses. Demoralized. Yeah, in their mind, they thought that the game was they, over. They had already started celebrating. And Patrick they were Mahomes already heading like, back really? home. This is – oh, okay. And Pat Mahomes showed great leadership. And, uh, I mean, I was – I really believe, just like I said before, Lamar Jackson's greatness this year made people have amnesia about Pat Mahomes' greatness. And Pat Mahomes is great. And then Pat Mahomes got hurt at a, at a point this season. So then, you know, a little bit of the spotlight went off of him. But these Kansas City Chiefs have nothing but weapons. And you brought up a great point, which is it's almost impossible to blow Pat Mahomes out. Yeah, you're going to have a hard time blowing him he out. He protects even when the football. Yeah, even when Kansas City lost to Tennessee earlier in the year, I think it was by three points, 35 to 38 or something like and that. And he only runs when he needs to. Yeah, he's the, he's a throw first guy. That's it. To go, But he can't break on you. He did break to, on him. To go from 24-0 to 51, basically throwing a shutout for the rest of the game. Yeah. I think they kicked the field goal. That was it. It was twenty-one to nothing. Then it was twenty-four to seven. No, it was twenty-four to nothing. Twenty-four. I was to nothing. sitting there. Yeah, I was sitting watching. I was like, "Wow, what was the final? Twenty-four to uh, fifty-one? Well, no, they, twenty-nine they fifty-one. Yeah, they I got they scored like one more time. But yeah. you know, it was junk time. It was a junk time. You're not gonna blow them out. I mean, but you can get. I I feel like the way to beat them is in a tight game. And I honestly, with the with everything, the way that it's falling now, I would have to take the Forty ers over everybody because the Forty ers look the least ring rusty out of all the teams that got the buy. I don't buy into that rust. I don't buy into the rust. These guys, once again, just like you were just talking about being professional. professionals. I need you. To I, can't take ball, a, I can't take Kelsey. a week off, and all of a sudden I can't, I can't catch the ball. ball. Yeah, on, that man. didn't make any. And that was the elite players. That was that was Tyreek Tyree Hill. Hill. That's Travis Kelsey. Damian, Damian Williams. That was all of them. All no, of them. And, and they and, catch a pass and, almost and, in the first quarter. And out there in with the Ravens, too. Yeah. They had to say they had the drop seats as well. So it can't it, you can't tell me that a professional. That's just, that's just focus. Yeah. Plain and that's simple. Just focus. That's and I can't even put that on the coach. And I, I told you I put it on the coach because the coach has to have you mentally prepared to understand that now it is time to execute. You've had your week off. You should be you rehabilitated. And yeah, your I'm, body's back. Yeah, and you have no excuse not to catch the ball. I'm paying you millions of dollars to catch the ball or to run the ball, and I need you to do just that. Yeah. And once, but but it was all about mental and mental, you know, the mentality of it. Because once they made that catch, once Travis Kelsey caught the ball, the team was like, "Oh, okay, this is what we're here to do." And all of a sudden, every you know, well, the other thing was Pat Mahomes getting in him, uh, you know, getting in him late, which was nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, getting in them early, I mean, as far as, okay. as, as him rallying the troops. Uh, and then when we move on, a disappointing game. I mean, I was speaking with my heart, but Russell Wilson seemed yeah, like he too. was out there alone again. <laughs> he was. I still wasn't impressed with the Green Bay. I, I still wasn't. I'm not impressed with a team that's one-dimensional. You say that your defense is great, but it's actually not because you haven't had anybody to play. When you played against the 49ers before, what happened? They were frightened. Exactly. Scared to death. And then you, when you listen to Aaron Rodgers speak on it, he doesn't sound like he's confident. He doesn't sound confident. And then you top it off with, I I have a hard time believing that the 49ers are going to let a team come out there and beat them with one player. The, he passes to, to Devonta Adams almost every single play. I mean, terrible defense by the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah. There was some really bad plays. That Carroll, play where they where they literally invited him to the open side of the field so the guy that runs the 4-3 can, can just cut across. <laughs> it made no sense whatsoever. But And, and they clamped down for what? Uh, Got him third and long twice and couldn't close the deal. And then you have him so that you, Russell Wilson might be able to get the ball back because Russell Wilson, I believe in my heart, Russell Wilson would have got If he could have got the ball back, he, he could have made some magic happen. He would have won that game. But the thing of it is that you're talking about giving Jimmy Graham a cushion and you need to stop him from getting getting X amount of yards, short, short, a medium yardage situation. So you have to actually meet him at the line. You can't give him a cushion. Come on, dude, man. This is just there was just a lot of poor defensive football. coordinating. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I'm not high on Pete Carroll because Pete Carroll won't give Russell Wilson, who I feel like is the best player in football, the um, I agree. The, the tools that he needs to win. If you put Russell Wilson on any of these other teams that we've been speaking about, are They're, you crazy? But bring them Baltimore, up. Baltimore, ring them up. I mean, you can put them on Baltimore. Well, Baltimore doesn't have a lot of talent. Baltimore has a, a an above average tight end, and then they have a, a running back, but they have a nice secondary. Yeah, they, they do can't have a nice they secondary. can't stop the run, but they can stop the pass. Yeah. 
But but other than that, you know, you talk about putting Russell Wilson on any of these teams, and he might go undefeated. I mean, he that's might what, go undefeated. This is how crazy and insane it is. But I don't think that we really respect the talent that we see in him. I, and haven't for the last seven years. Yeah, for however he, long he's been in the league, I he's saw, been nice since he got to the league. He beat all of the number top one, what top number one quarterbacks in football. Yeah, the first year he came up. Yep, yeah. he was ready. I thought and even the game game. that they lost in the playoffs to Atlanta, they should have won. Right. That was on Pete Carroll. That was was mismanagement on the timeouts, on his on his time. Um and then the last game that happened this weekend isn't even really worth covering because that was Niner gang, bang, bang. (laughs) The Niners destroyed the skull tech. Yeah. They, for the tipper. Yeah, this is tipper went over two this weekend. <laughs> uh, he spoke with his heart about clips it too. Might have to get doing for the tipper on the line for a, to go for a row session. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, the Niners beat the crap out of them. But I, what I want to do is look forward to this next game. I think that we're gonna see somewhat of a repeat from the 49ers Green Bay game from that same weekend Why as the you? Wilder fight. I don't have any reason to believe not. I think Jimmy G as actually getting better because who's escaping the uh, the microscope in this whole thing is Jimmy G. Jimmy G doesn't look great. I don't think he, I don't think he looks bad. He doesn't have no, to look great. No, though. but he doesn't look great. He does his job. He does, he's a little bit better than a, than a manager. He hits the big passes when you need to. He has he passes the ball back there with confidence. And one of the things you have to look at is that Bill Belichick is looking at his quarterback of the future out there actually producing. He's poised when you watch him play. He doesn't look rattled or he doesn't look frayed or anything. He, he doesn't, doesn't look like Josh Allen, but I don't think he looks like Jimmy G of the regular season. I what I does. do think gets- what I do think is each game is going to get him more and more confident. But that's that's life. Yeah. You that's know, it, but, that's, that's but you're talking about you're talking about him with George Kittles out there. George Kittles is one of the best, if not the best tight end in football. Yep. You got a possession receiver in Emmanuel Sanders, and then you got a bunch of young burners out there. And you got a three headed monster in, in Brita, the backfield. Mostert and Tevin Coleman. So I mean the dude can be really And you got a crazy defense. And then you, you have a the best crazy crazy front four Crazy linebacker core, and Richard Sherman is out there looking like it's 2015, well, 2016. Yeah, but when you talk about it, you know, you can match up Richard Sherman with Devonta Adams, and now Aaron Rodgers is dead, and this is exactly what happened to him last time. But one of the things that the 49ers do bring to the table is that they have actual linebackers and linemen That's it. that has size that can actually slow down Derrick Henry, even if you can't stop him. If you hold him to 100 yards, you won. Good, you've done a good job. Yeah. And they can actually do that because now you're talking about Richard Sherman out there. The idea of not having to blitz to stop a Derrick Derrick Henry on, is crazy? huge. Yes. Huge, yes. huge, huge. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, so this weekend I'm taking the 49ers, and I'm taking the Chiefs. I think we're looking at the 49ers and the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Once again, I will go with the Titans. If you run the ball 30 to 35 times. No, not 34. I'm not. I'm going off. Th- Remember, I went off of 34. You rolled me off of 34 <laughs> last week. So I'm going with 35. 30 to 35 times, and they will beat the Kansas City Chiefs again because Patrick Mahomes needs to get on the field. He won't be able to get on the field and 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 do the magic if you don't give if he's not on the field. They be able to do Fitz magic. He can't do Fitz. Um, that's gonna be. I anticipate that to be a better game to watch. Yeah. Um, the the for, to say that the Chiefs need to get out and extend the lead to get Derrick Henry out of the game to be a factor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but see, I actually believe that the Chiefs can beat them if Derrick Henry's a factor, and that's that's. Now, he has already proven that they can't. And basically, when it comes down to too much time off the clock, just like I told you last week with the Lamar Jackson, who had the best offense pretty much in football, you have to be on the field to play. Just like back in, on the field. Yeah, Bill Parcells had brought that in. Brought that in. You can be as good as you want to. He's won with a bunch of not even above average running backs. I mean, he won, won with a bunch of mediocre running backs that he did clock management. Kill the clock. Look at the Buffalo Bills. I feel like the Buffalo Bills offense was way better than what we're looking at with the, uh, especially if you had had them playing nowadays. But the Buffalo Bills back in the day playing against the Giants, remember that? Yeah, and and they shouldn't. The Giants. That offense was insane. That offense Thurman, was insane. Thomas and uh, yeah, Andre Reed. And, oh, yeah. You know, yeah, Andre and uh, what is it? I mean, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, and then then who was the other? Was it Largent or whatever? Who was the other receiver? A no, big time receiver. Like, it was a big time receiver. Yeah, it was though. a big time receiver out there though. But what they did? Dang it! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So then you're talking about slowing the game down. I think that game ended what twenty to seven, twenty to nineteen, or something crazy. <laughs> I mean, you had to get on the field to be able to perform. Yeah. Uh and. Yeah, those those are my football picks. And 